Okay, let's just make a quick video about machine deletion in OpenShift. I recently hit an issue with an OpenStack VM. It was a worker node for my OpenShift cluster. And basically the problem was the volume attachment. It was saying that it was attached, but when the VM booted, it couldn't find the disk. So I tried to detach the volume and Nova still thought it was attached, Cinder thought it wasn't. So rather than try and fix that issue, because I'd probably need to delete the volume attachment from the database, I decided let's just replace the, the worker node in OpenShift because we don't really care about systems in, in OpenShift or Kubernetes these days. But I wanted to talk about how, how to do that and how to do it safely and smoothly. So there's a few options, as we can see on the screen. Um, these are all of the systems that are part of my, my OpenShift cluster. And we can see them as well over here in the OpenStack Horizon view. So we've got the worker nodes, the masters, etc. So I'm going to try and make this more of a web-based video. All of my other ones so far have been terminal-based, so we'll try and keep to the, the web browser. So what options do we have for deleting systems in, in OpenShift? So we've got machine sets, and we can just tell it how many machines we want. But how does it decide which node to delete when we do that? Well, if we look at the code for the delete policy in the machine config and uh, machine API operator, we can see down the bottom here we have this section called delete priority function. And this goes through and it's looking for random newest and oldest. And we can see there is a comment down here or an error saying unsupported delete policy must be one of random newest oldest. So we know we have three. So if we look at this code, we can see what they do. Um, the oldest one is, is going to determine which is your oldest VM, and it's going to delete that one first. Newest will do the opposite, and random will just pick a node at random. But I wanted a little bit more granular control over that. What if the one I want to delete and the one I'm having problems with is in the middle? Well, we have this other option where we can annotate a, a node with cluster API delete machine and then that will give it the highest priority. So we can see here in the oldest, it will put that one at the top. So if we have that annotation, we're gonna return must delete and delete that node. And the same for the other two as well. So how can we first check what is set um, and what is the default? So if we go back to our web UI and we go to machine sets and we click on our machine set and then go to YAML over here on the side, we have view sidebar. And this is going to give us basically what we would get if we did a kubectl explain or an OC explain on this resource. So looking at the, the code block here again, we can see um, it, it first looks up what that policy is set to. So we look up machine set spec delete policy. So back here in the web browser, we're currently in machine set. So if we go to spec, we can see under spec we have delete policy and that tells us all about delete policy. And so the same thing from your terminal would look like this. So we can see I've done a kubectl explain machine set dot spec, got the same information and then a kubectl explain machine set spec delete policy to see the information about the delete policy. I promise, only terminal time. So if we don't have anything for the delete policy, it means we're using the default and the default is, as we know, random. So if we want to scale this down to two, we can change that to two. And I mean, we can we can do the same back from the detail screen in the, in the UI, I'm not editing this. But because we're using random, then we want to annotate that node. So we'll have a look at how we can annotate that node and delete a specific node. Okay, so we're going to delete this node here. So we click on the node, and what we want to do is just add that annotation. So this one here, so what we're going to do is go into the YAML of the node, we're going to go to the annotation section, and we're going to add an annotation, and we'll just add a random string to that annotation. Okay, so then in the annotations section here, we're just going to annotate this node with this one. So we'll copy that. We'll go to the bottom, paste it in. We'll just give it a random string here. Yes, delete this node. Okay, once we've done that, we'll click Save. It's now been saved. And now we want to scale our machine set. 
So when we do this, this is now going to delete the node that we've annotated. So we click Save. And now if we go to Machines, we can see that it's deleting the node that we just annotated. So if we leave that for a little while, that will now delete and finish it up. So I just wanted to make a quick video just to show how you can select a particular node. It doesn't matter how many you have. Maybe you've got a problem with just one. You want to delete it. You want to make sure it's that node that gets deleted when you scale. So you can annotate it specifically and then scale down and that will ensure that that particular node is removed. That's all I've got for you. Hopefully that's helpful.